I wondered if you might like to have a look at my stump house, something a little bit unusual here. It's um, made in true blue pizza fashion with bits of bobs and bits of cardboard box and all sorts, but it's really quite tiny and if I put my hand here you can get an idea of the scale. We're talking probably 1 48th scale here, so fairly minuscule. You were looking at the front door here, but if I turn it round you can look inside the actual house itself and we'll visit each room, shall we? Start downstairs. In here we have our study. So a little room here with shelves and pots and bottles on the shelf. I've used real copper leaf to make the hood on the fireplace. And out here we have, these are real wax candles um, and the stones we collected from a beach in Orthony when we were on holiday and bits of Welsh slate. So little bits and pieces that I pick up and I collect when I'm round and about. And the teeny tiny baby acorns are from the garden. And they have a gazing ball to look at. And there's even a little pussy cat there inside. Can you see the pussy cat with the bowl? There we go. There we are. So if we come up a floor, we have a selenite tower there, a gazing crystal, and indoors we're looking at a fireplace. And we have a kind of throne, and I've used gold leaf for the throne. And we've got a lovely chaise lounge there to rest on. Pumpkin outside, so maybe it's Halloween soon. And then we come up into the studio, and in here we've got one of my paintings on the wall. One of my unicorns. And... The floor's dirty, where the artist has spilt all the bits and pieces on the floor, pots and put pots down with paint on them, perhaps. Every room has a ladder up to the next floor. I made the ladders with um, little sticks from the garden, and that goes up to a trap door in the floor above, you see. Can you see it just in there? It has a trap door. Every floor has a trap door. So that's the studio, little curtains in the window. And then we go up to the bedroom here. Made a lovely kind of princess bed with bits of moss around it and a dressing table with a mirror, a mirror and a stool. And there's a little shelf unit there under the windows. And if you're wondering what this is all about here, all the cogs and the wheels, well, that's quite self-explanatory because if we look down here, we have that, 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 and this comes down to an acorn basket full of logs that will go, will be levered up to use for the fires. I've used fir cones for the chip, for the see all the roofing, for the roof tiles, and um, there's a swing here. I forgot the swing. There's a little swing hanging from the stump here where the tree's been cut. These are the little outside windows. These two have got fir cones for their roofing. And I use this great big acorn shell for the chimney. And that is a straw, one of these metal straws that you can buy now. So all sorts of, I had such fun, it took me weeks, weeks and weeks. In actual fact, it probably took me months to do this, but I did so enjoy it, I can't tell you, using the moss to stick on. So I was all dead, I was in the garden hauling out bits and pieces of moss from the garden. So it was great fun, thoroughly enjoyed that. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. If you want to look at them, look at that one in more detail. Um, I have it on my Etsy shop, so you can go and have a look at the photographs on there if you'd like to. So that's the Etsy shop, and it's called Touching Magic. One word: Touching Magic.